what is up everybody welcome back collect beard reactions this go around got something a little bit different uh this let's call this like a throwback thursday moment so my channel when it originally started over two years ago about three years ago now actually uh the original channel the eclectic beard was called allen's beer and sports so we're going to take and go back to the beer portion of things now, granted, this isn't exactly on the channel that I started YouTube on, but everybody loves doing throwback Thursday type stuff. I don't ever do that kind of stuff, but you know what? I figured, why not today? So, be having a drink of Sycamore Pumpkin Latte Blonde. Now, I wish I had an English beer to review or an English style beer, like an English ale or something like that uh, to do. But unfortunately, I don't. I don't have access to one right now. So instead, we're going to take and drink this. So like I said, Sycamore Pumpkin Latte Blonde. Now it's that time of the year, Oktoberfest. Start seeing more Oktoberfest type beers, more pumpkin type stuff. And while I don't normally care for them, this, I haven't had a decent craft beer in a while. I've had Sycamore before. Um, they've got hit or misses. I'll put it like that. They've got hit or misses. I don't normally drink pumpkin but 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 every so often you get the mood for something so a nice little head on it got some nice bubbling oh yeah oh yeah got nice carbonation in there probably can't see. oh yeah you can kind of see that it's got nice carbonation in it so definitely got a just about got a full hand of uh, full head. Uh, yeah, it's got big, big head on it. There we go. Bunch of foam. Right off the top, the wheat sticks out. Malts. Taking let that go down some. Taking add a little bit more to it. All right, so this being a blonde ale, the head's not going to go down all that much. But like I said, you get wheat, you get malt. Like it's got a very strong malt note in there, which blondes, they got a strong backbone of malt. You also get like a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a little bit of like, the, uh, not ginger, but like the, the allspice or something that's in there. Like you get the spices on this more than any, uh, more than like pumpkin they say pumpkin spice they mean the actual spices like the cinnamon and the ginger and things of that nature so something tells me this beer is going to have a nice spice to it to go along with that malty backbone take and give it a nice flavor now abv on this is 5.9 percent so it's not it's, it's not a big beer now granted i could have waited for a month Waited for a couple of the bigger beers to take and come out, like Pumpkinhead or uh, not Pumpkinhead, but uh, Anchor Brewing Company. They've got a they've got a pumpkin beer. It's a stout. That thing is, or Ballast Point. They've got a stout. That thing is what 11% ABV. So yeah, this is definitely it's not up there as far as ABV, but but a blonde. You you really something like this. You're going for flavor more than anything. Strong wheat, strong wheat, <clears throat> nice multi backbone there in the middle as it's going over the back end. Oh, yeah, as it's going over the back end, you take and get the cinnamon, you take and get the get hints of the ginger and the rest of the spices. Like I said, you don't really get pumpkin with pumpkin spice. However, it's crisp and refreshing as well, which blonde ales normally are. Uh, normally, you got a nice crisp finish on them. This has a nice crisp finish right after. The aftertaste, you don't get any film or anything like that. It's got a light 
mouthfeel, so you don't have nothing, it's not overly heavy or anything like that, no over stickiness. Definitely, definitely, I think <clears throat> this was worth the purchase. This was worth the purchase. Um, it's nice, robust, flavorful. Like it, when you when you get hit at the very front end with the wheat, and then followed by that malt backbone, which is immediately followed by. And the thing is, is like some of the beers that you get that are pumpkin spice, it's overly spiced, so you get. It's like, oh, conflict in my mouth. This, everything plays so nicely together that it's just really well done. And that crisp, clean finish on the end of it just. I'll be getting more of this. And I don't like pumpkin beers, but this one right here, I, that's, I can recommend that. So that being said, this, this, is what I, this is what I started on YouTube doing. So like I said, throwback Thursday, throwback Thursday, um, except not with the old video, but just showing y'all what I used to do. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.